Right, so this is my latest. I've got another motorcycle display, Apple CarPlay, but this time I've gone for the premium brand, Choigi. So this is the latest one, the Choigi AIO5 Play. So it's got built-in GPS. I've also had a remote control for it and tire pressure sensors. So this one's Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, online navigation, IP67 waterproof, anti-theft, eye brightness display, tire pressures, and a remote control. And you can tell this is the premium one, the packaging. The packaging is a lot better and it is brand specific. Where a lot of the other displays then coming in boxes, it hasn't even got the company name on them. So I think those are a bit more generic, but this... This is the the flagship. This is the premium stuff. Choigi. So this is the display. You can tell the difference in the weight of it, the quality. This feels a lot heavier and a lot, lot stronger. It feels about the same as a... Garmin Zumo XT. This is the bracket with it. It's got a ball mount on it. It's only a small ball mount, so that doesn't fit the standard ones, but that's the bracket. There's the GPS at the top. Comes with memory card installed. At the moment, I've got it with the USB cable in there. But in the box it comes with where you can wire it direct to the battery, it's got the tools in there, cable toys, instructions. So this one also has, if you can see there, the GPS will track your speed. So there's two, two menus as well you can pick from the display. It also shows your direction and your tyre pressure sensor indicators so there we go i'm going to try that setup so i've got my garmin and there's the try and that's how i've got it fitted so the bracket the try comes on fits perfectly on the mount for my sat nav So we'll try it. We'll put the screen on and we'll try it. So we've got it fitted. We've got the screen back on. We're going to go through some of the settings and we're going to have a look at this controller. So let's have a look. So we've got the usual display, brightness, storage. I can format the SD card. Apple CarPlay has just kicked in. Let's go back. Features. There we go. So that's the tyre pressure sensors. So front tyre is 34.7, back tyre is 38.6. Now what I've got here is I've got the value set. So at 33.4, if the front tyre drops below that, it will beep. The rear tyre is 42.1. Okay. Remote control. That's remote control here. GPS. That's my GPS signal. And coordinates. Vibration alarm. I've got that switched off. I'm not using that. I've got it set in miles. I can change the language change the time format I can update the system so I've got this display so I've got my speedo I've got my direction facing north I can change this display so I have my speedo here I've got voltage if you've got a bike where you can plug it in it can read the temperature but mine hasn't and we've got 
Apple CarPlay. So what I can do on this controller, I can navigate. So I'll just go to music. There we go. I can press play. So I've got this at the moment going to my phone. So there you go. All right, let's put my card on. So I've got my phone connected to the screen for Apple CarPlay. I've got my card out connected to the phone so the audio comes to the phone. And then I've got the remote what controls Apple CarPlay and also controls my music. So my volume I'll still operate on my card out. So all we need to do now, we need to go and try it out on the road. See what it's like for navigation and also I want to see is if it's too much of an obstruction for me, me GoPro, the view I've got coming out on the footage, because I do like it there. I'm not so keen on having it mounted here on the side. So we'll see what it's like. Right then, so let's try it out. I've got my card on with my music. We've got a little route on. Let's see how visible it is. One thing I've noticed, I need to put a little bit of a rubber on the back of the bracket because it's rattling against the screen. I can hear it. It's nice and bright, the display. Yeah, I can hear that rattling against the screen. Right, so it's telling me to go left. I'm going to go right just to make sure it does recalculate me. Recalculating. Yep, yeah, there we go. It's telling me to go left, I'm going to go right. I don't know what route I've got planned in my actual Garmin, but obviously that's trying to step me somewhere. But I'm ignoring the Garmin, we're looking at the Choige. Yeah, so it's rerouted. That's good. Right, now I want to see what these controls are like. There you go, there's one version. There's the other display. So front tyres 36, back tyres 38. Let's try and keep a constant speed. So 33 miles an hour, the bike says 36. Because obviously you do have the error rate in the, the speedo on the bike. I think it's between 6 and 10%. It has to be under the actual speed limit. Let's have a look at Apple CarPlay. What I'll do, I'll wait till I'm on a bit of a straight road and then we'll go through some music. So what I think I could do with the controller close to my hand, because at the minute I can't reach it with my thumb. I'm having to take my hand off the throttle to do it. Music, there we go. Right, next track, skip. Yep. So it works quite well, I'm happy with that. I might need to move this, um, I might need to modify the bracket a bit. Ideally, I could do with it there. So I'm just out of reach. I need to sort out that, because it is, it's, it's vibrating against the screen. But apart from that, does this job, it's nice and bright. We've got some cloud today, but we have got the sun behind us, it's quite bright. And that seems to be working perfect. I don't think it's too much in the line of sight of the GoPro. I think the GoPro's sitting just above it. Right, let's go back to my maps. There we go. I need to do a bit of filtering, but I don't think we're going to get through here. I love how the remote control works. We go back onto the music. And skip a song. Play. There we go. There we go. My tyre pressure. 
warning. So my rear tyre is at 43. I quite like how that does that, how it pops up. Because you can set the alarm. I think I might have it set too low. So obviously now the tyres have got hot and the the tyre pressure's increased, it's setting the sensor off. So if I go on my maps, search, favourites, start, that's it, give me route back home. There we go, 6.7 miles to my house. And the app I'm using there is, that's my route app, Navigator. So I use my route up to plan all the routes. And then I've got the navigator on my phone, which works with through the Apple CarPlay. But I can definitely tell the difference with this Choigi compared to some of the other ones. You can tell this is a bit more premium brand, this one. The, the quality of it feels a lot better. It's a lot stronger. It feels heavier. And the screen seems to work better with bright when you've got you know like a bright day with the sun and i don't think it's uh, obstructing my camera view too much this is the the i think this is the latest one because they do the aio 5 light and i think that's all that comes where you can add cameras to it and that there this is a new one this is the aio uh play so this is mainly just a screen. Uh, I've got the remote with it, it's got the tyre pressure sensors. But it works well. So I think what I can do as well with it now is, with my Garmin, I can have both, because um, we find sometimes when we do our European tours, and I've planned the route, and if there's any um, diversions or road closures, because I've planned my Garmin to pick the exact route we're going to take, and not to deviate from it. Sometimes you get a bit of a problem if there is a diversion, because me Garmin is saying like, no, you've told me to go down that road. So at least using the My Route App Navigator app on here, I can always rely on that for any diversions, because that will that will do the uh, recalculation. It will reroute me. I'll see what this footage is like watching back to see if it's if it is a bit of an obstruction for the GoPro. But um, I'm happy with it. I like it. And there's the description, so thank you Choigi for sending that. I'm going to get plenty of good use out of that. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Oosh.